Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We just placed a wiretap in the servers here. The NSN servers. And now it's time to go speak with Miller. Agent Jensen reporting for duty, sir. Tried to do it earlier, but you were on a conference call. Yeah, I was. Should I be worried about you, Jensen? Sorry. That blow you took to your systems. It's not messing with your head or anything, making you do things. I'm not gonna go crazy and start attacking people, if that's what you're worried about. You've been checked out then. The problem with your orbs is gone. I took care of it. Good, good. God knows with all that's happened, I need you at 100% right now. You sounded pissed when you called me in. Everything okay? Don't ever leave the field, Jensen. You'll regret it. As soon as you strap a desk to your ass, you'll be swimming in goddamn politics. The boss is giving you trouble. What? Ah, oh, that. No, the trouble state police. They're pushing us out of the Razika investigation. I want you over there to make sure that doesn't happen. You're putting me on the train station attack? Not Dubai? Forget Dubai. MacReady's handling it. Hmm. Insist or accept? Nah, let's just take it. Good. Thought I'd have to fight him to let me handle this one. Whoever planted those bombs yesterday has a lot to answer for. Agreed. And we have to find out who they are before the state police fuck up our crime scene. You said they're trying to push us out? I sent Fletcher in this morning to oversee evidence collection. Seems he's being detained because he hasn't checked in since. They can't lock us out. The Czech Republic signed our UN mandate agreement. They gave us jurisdiction over terrorist investigations. Yeah, well, the former director of their security information services runs state police now. He's come up with a loophole, claiming this attack falls under the homegrown terror exemption. Homegrown? He's saying it's ARC? The Augmented Rights Coalition? I don't care what he's saying. He may even be right. I just want us in there so we can find out. So where do I start? Technically, you're supposed to speak to our psychologist before getting back into action. I don't need a shrink. Convenient, because she's not in the office right now, and I don't want to waste any more time. So how do I get to Ruzika? Public transportation's not stopping there. It will for you once I make a phone call. Head to the metro and call me when you're there. Good luck, Agent. Ooh, we just got a new Praxis, didn't we? Believe we did. We have two Prax Praxi now. Ooh, I can get something good. Let's go ahead and spend it on the rebreather so I can finally go into areas that are full of gas. I can think of two just off the top of my head, two areas that I couldn't go to because I didn't have this. So now that we've moved forwards in the main quest, just inched forwards, I'm probably going to take another maybe 10 or 20 episodes before I actually do the next thing. You know, the norm. Eating well, director? Bacon and sausages. That's the train station, isn't it? The Rizika train station, I mean. Hmm. It's already opened. Nothing in it. Strange. <laughs> There's something weird looking about that keyboard. It's extra big. Also, why are they typing on the numpad at the same time as the letters? You might have to go to the neural subnet. Need the Jim Miller keycard. Let's look at the rest of this organization. 
Counterterrorism, Duncan McCready, you're the one handling the Dubai investigation. Which one's McCready? Agent Jensen! Oh, Singh! Agent Singh. Wasn't expecting to see you again. In civvies, at least. Just passing through. I wanted to thank your team for the backup in Dubai. That sting went to hell faster than the storm did. You're welcome. But I don't think you came all this way to say thanks. Director Miller asked me to get Agent McCready up to speed. Now I have the red-eye flight back to Oman. Headed into the field office there? Not exactly. One of our black sites. I'll be dropped in as a captured enemy combatant. After I contact my fellow Jin prisoners, I shall lead a very convenient escape. Re-embedding with the Jin. Aren't you taking a big risk, given everything that happened? Eh, no choice. That ambush knocked everyone on their asses. TF-29, Bell Tower, the Jin. To cover all the angles, I need to go back. Hopefully my cover is still good. You killing the signal booster at the hotel should help. You're thinking the Jin can get a beat on our gate crashers faster than TF-29? Perhaps. They do not like loose ends. An augmented kill squad with military training. Have you ever seen anything like it? Yeah, once. But it's a long story. Whoever they were, they knew exactly when the deal was going down. Any chance they were based locally, in Dubai? No. After the incident, Dubai became the world's most luxurious tombstone. Perfect for the Jinn, but for no one else. I thought human augmentation was frowned on in the Middle East. Why was Dubai hit so hard? Because it was another world. Two other worlds, in fact. One of extreme augmentations in gold or crystal. And one of thousands of workers outfitted for construction. Then... That day. I know. No, Agent Jensen. You could not. Some called it divine punishment. But that day was not the work of a merciful god. Did we get anything out of the cleanup operation? Mostly corpses. Heavily augmented, as you know. Under those gold masks, they were ID scrubbed. No prints, no dentals, no DNA match. Professional. Could still be ex-Bell Tower. Plenty of men and material went AWOL after the incident. A competing faction that listened in on Shepard's sale. It's a possibility. The audits and investigations of Bell Tower will go on for years before we know how many rats jumped from that ship. At least we recovered the weapons. Unlisted. High spec. Military grade augmentation. Enough to build another couple of you. That... that is a joke. Right. It's the world we live in. Anyone with an exemption to the weaponized augment ban is a useful tool. Or a terrorist. I don't envy what you've got ahead of you. Actually, I am looking forward to it. The truth is, when you've been under for long enough, you only feel like an imposter out here. In the real world. Yeah, I understand the feeling. This is so, so is McCready here at the moment? Nope, doesn't look like it. It is Jensen. Whoa, that is so cool. It is Jensen, yes? Yes. These guys might as well be That's an actual full-on 3D model of the place. Agent Jensen. Yes, we've already spoken. Come down, Sing. These guys might as well be ghosts. Wait, Adam Jensen, is this Is this my desk? Oh, it is. All right, shooting competition three. The third quarterly TF-29 shooting competition is almost upon us. Remember, our firing range is always open, featuring any firearm in the TF-29 arsenal with unlimited ammunition. Have you practiced enough? No, I don't really care. Uh, security update. We already kind of know about this. Uh, stage one of these increased security protocols include the deployment of an automated network refresh system that changes all general system passwords every six days. Wow. Dubai mission. 
from the director. This is to address the recent mission in Dubai. We all know someone who died in that action. Our one consolation is that they died doing what they all believed in, trying to make the world a better place. However, there's no excuse for the mission going to hell the way it did. The reasons it did are now under thorough investigation. We can all do better than this. And from now on, we will. For them. Further, rumors have come to my attention was question why we were in charge of the op in the first place rather than Station Muscat. These speculations are a distraction and strongly discouraged. Please remain focused on the actual task at hand. Those were our people we lost. It falls to us to avenge them. Memorial services will be forthcoming. This is introduction from the psychologist. Having recently joined the team, I wanted to briefly introduce myself. My name is Dr. Dolara Azanen. As Azen, Azen, Azene, now resident psychiatrist for the Prague Bureau. In addition to providing consultancy training for psychological profiling, hostage negotiation, and criminal communication, I'll also be the person responsible for staff psychological assessment and counsel. And due to the nature of our work here at Task Force 29, every agent has a high risk of exposure to emotional stress and potential trauma. Mental health is just as important as physical health, if not more. So it's important for you to have access to relevant professional support both during and after any case you might be working on. I look forward to meeting everyone individually over the following weeks for an initial consultation. From Dr. Jennifer Phillips. Neuropazine order. Agent Jensen, I notice you have not yet picked up the supply of neuropazine I ordered for you this month. I also notice that it's the third time in a row that you have been late picking up your prescription. In my experience, agents like yourself are prone to testing their limits, denying themselves the crucial medicine they need due to either pride, an overinflated sense of machismo, or a well-intentioned but misplaced belief that others might need it more. If none of these reasons describe you, I sincerely apologize, but I suggest you not be late again, for I will be forced to assume you are obtaining the drug somewhere else illicitly and will have to report you to the head office. From Duncan McCready. Oh, Duncan McCready's the person with the large scar on their face. I remember them. I'm still waiting on your after-action report. We all gotta file them, you know? Drag your heels much longer and I'll write it up myself. Guaranteed, you won't look good in it. Ah, go fuck yourself. Adam Jensen really does live on cereal and coffee. These guys might as well be ghosts. I hate this. I really hate this. Yes, Sing. We've already spoken. Vincent Black, organized crime. I'm talking about the same Vince. Vince Black. He's never around. You know that. He usually sneaks in at night, once or twice a week, to check email and stuff. But I don't think he's done that in two weeks at least. Two weeks since Vincent's even popped in at night to check email? What's going on with Vincent Black? That doesn't sound good. Great. No, that's Hoping you two can tell Who are you? Over nothing, but now I feel worse than before. Oh, what is this? I can inquire about each person? I've been scrubbing through garbage for hours. Hey, Agent Jensen. Nice work in Dubai. But still, you know, what I want to know is who those ogged up guys in the gold masks were. I'll be compiling sorry, all the case files, all and as soon as I know anything, it'll be up on the board. Here we go, the Church of the Machine God, and to some, the Church of the Machine, without the God. And then again, to others, the Singularity Church of the Machine God. This group has so many names and subgroups, uh, it's hard to keep track. And believe it or not, they've been around in one form or another since the early 1970s. There are a lot of contradictory reports on who they are and what they want, but in general, they all want the same thing. They want to merge their consciousnesses and become one with the Machine God through a ritual they call Ascension. Okay, yeah, I think I've gathered that much already. Much here to go on. Just need a, uh, an ID card to get inside of their compound. I Anybody I want to know in particular about... Shepard. Our arms dealer Shepard, aka John Trent, is a former Special Forces Commander, commander at X-Bell Tower Operative. And as is typical for those X-Bell Tower employees, he's been selling off old Bell Tower tech and weapons. But we don't need to worry about him anymore. He, he was killed by those gold mask guys in Dubai. I think that's about it for now. Oh my god, I can hack so many of these computers. 
Most likely eyewitnesses were smashed in the explosion. Jensen, we need to talk. Oh, Peter Shang. By God, Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him... Tell him it's just... It's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. I'm gonna need more information about this snoop of yours. I don't know for sure that our cover's been blown, but if it has, we need to know before our enemies have a chance to do something about it. You really think there's a risk here? Maybe someone's just poking around the fake website of a fake company. If someone points a gun at me, I assume it's loaded. If someone hacks into the website of the company that serves as our cover, I assume they're doing it for a bad reason. Such as? Everything depends on who they are and what they know. But we're in the business of dealing with terrorists. If those terrorists find out where we are... TF-29 likes its privacy. Sure. More importantly, Chang likes being in one piece. Unlike you, I don't just brush off explosions. What can you tell me about our front company? Praha Dovos was designed to be forgettable. The kind of place you walk by a hundred times and still can't remember. It obviously caught someone's attention. What happens if we're compromised? My guess? We dismantle and disappear. Agents go into hiding, director burrows into some hole, poof. No Christmas party. You got an ammo on this hacker? At first I thought it might be the Collective. But you're not convinced. Not Janus' style to leave crumbs this big. But, whoever it is, they risk exposing us. If the Collective ever found out where we operate... <sighs> my god, Jensen. Maybe Janus knows already. Hey, hey, don't say shit like that! I get nervous enough as it is. I need you to find out as much as you can about our Snoop. Alright, you have any leads? I trace our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Hall Avenue. Just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day. Probably walks in. You're kidding. See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment. Access the computer they used and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. Yeah, Peter Chang is really rattled from all this. I wonder if I've actually been in that apartment. I've been all around the apartments in Lavni. Hmm. Okay, I think... yeah, I think we've looked at everything. At least as far as the rooms go. Innocent access. Uh, did you or Chang move the Innocent server room keycard? Uh, well, there's no point in that. <laughs> I not only have the keycard, but I used a security computer to open the door, so I didn't even need the keycard. Yeah, and I've already been in here, right? Counterterrorism, Duncan McCready, mm hmm. Close my eyes, but all I see is strings of code scrolling on my lids. I need you to do fixed together. It's gonna take them a while. You know, they've done a really good job here of making this place look like sort of controlled chaos. I mean, you just hear everybody talking and there's just so much data. Everybody's just overwhelmed with with data and things to do and people are running from place to place. It's really cool. Alright, let's leave. If I can find the way out. This way. Alex, 
Did we get anything from the Whisper Chip? We got something, but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies, so they aren't getting deciphered correctly. Can you fix it? I'm a pilot, not a programmer. I can do it, but it's gonna take some time. My goodness! Hi. So, I mean, obviously they're in on this, right? I wonder... I wonder how much they know, though. Sorry if I was rude before. If the store had been empty. We all have our roles to play, Sedlak. How's yours going? It is giving me new respect for criminals who run front operations. Late shipments, supply problems, random police searches at customs. Ugh. I thought this store was just a front. Best Front is a real company. Prahadovos is registered as an international shipping corporation in every country in the EU. I can get an office, way station, or depot up and running anywhere in Europe within 72 hours. I do not suppose you spoke to Agent Chang while you were down there. He told me you've been hacked. I'm looking into it. Good. I will sleep better knowing an experienced field agent is on the case. Field agent? We both know the deal, Jensen. There are two types of agents in this office. The ones who do the footwork and work the leads, and the ones who analyze them. And you think Chang's one of those? I think Chang lives in his head too much. He is good. He's very good. But it is also good that the task force brought in a new psychologist this month. Anything you can tell me about this hack? Chang will know more than me. I just told him something strange was going on. Utility statements being accessed, incomplete information on orders, that kind of thing. The kind of thing that's easy to miss. Surprised you noticed it. When you have been doing this as long as me, you start to question every little thing. Plus, that old lady kept coming around. Old lady? Old lady. Chatty thing. I thought she was just lonely, until I caught her staring at the terminal when my back was turned. Did you confront her about it? I told Chang. Asked him to put a field agent on it. Well, I'd better get going. I'll let you know if I find anything. Do not tell me, tell Chang. I have a cover to keep. I'm glad you were not hurt in the bombing yesterday, Agent Jensen. The task force needs good men like you. Thanks, Sedlak. Take care. Oops. Yep, so they know... Well, they know as much as they need to. It sounds... Sounds like someone's doing laundry behind this thing. Oh. It's a fan? I can't even see the fan. I can't punch it either. I guess I'll read this. I don't know what the point would be. From Gabriel Nelson. Hi, Marcy. You don't need to worry about this guy. I call him Nosy because he watches everyone. I use him as an informant from time to time. He's shifty, but harmless. Unless you have something to hide. But he knows better than to get on TF-29's bad side. From Peter. Uh, yeah, just their concerns about uh, people hacking into this place and watching the storefront. Let's actually follow up on that quest right now. So, Halafni Apartments are just right here. Top floor. So it just says A Top Floor Apartment. So not a specific apartment number. Hey. Are you interested in clean guns for a good price? That's the merchant. Get out of here, freak now. Get out of here, freak now? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so I've already been in this apartment. That's 301 over here. Uh, over there. This is 302. Are there any other apartments? Ooh. 
Summons dot. Find the source of the hack. Yeah, this is the apartment we've already been in. All this stuff. So, I mean, if I've already found it, then what do I need to find? Oh, hello. What is this? Either I missed this before, or it doesn't show up until you have the quest. Why are you online? Sewer stand-up was five minutes ago, and you're not even in Daphne? I want to lead with your Praha Dobos story. Or Praha Dobos. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's try to read the situation well so we don't mess up. Gotta pretend to be the right person. Sewer stand-up was five minutes ago. Stand-up? I want to lead with your Praha Dovos story. I'm not sure what sewer stand-up means, but if they want to lead with a Praha Dovos story, then they must be a reporter? Um. You know me, always running late. Do not confuse anti-establishment with anti-punctuality. Summers Dot is counting on whatever you dug up about Praha Dovos for the next issue. Oh right, it's a it's a magazine, as well as a movement. Okay. Sounds like something we should talk about in person, where are you? Hmm. Truth is I got lost again, one of these one of those days. Should I say we need to talk in person? Um, yeah, let's try it. Please don't scare him off, please don't scare him off. Same place it was yesterday and the day before that. Underground in the Daphne district. Take the manhole by the music store or the old church. Once you find the hidden office, the code to get in is 5431. <laughs> nice. Okay. By the music store or the old church. Music store or the old church. Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. A group called Samus Dad. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. Nothing suspicious here. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to head on over to the sewers here and see if we can find Samus Dot.